What's up guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. So guys, this morning I went to Walmart and did some grocery shopping. I spent about $65, so I thought maybe I'll just do a mini grocery haul for you guys today. So I have everything laid out, so let's get started. Let's start down this end with my meats. I bought some ground beef because I'm going to make some spaghetti today because I have some of that sauce left over from a week ago when I made the shells. So I'm going to use that up today with some ground beef. I bought two of these big packages of chicken thighs. You guys know this is my choice of chicken meat, uh, the boneless chicken thighs. I am going to separate these because this is too big of a pack. I bought two of these. Now I bought two cases of water. I like this Sam Club's water. For some reason, I like the bottle. They like kind of pudgy and I don't know what it is. Call it strange, but I like the bottles. Now they didn't have the regular 16 ounce bottles, so I went ahead and got the smaller ones. I figured, you know, better something than nothing. You guys know how I am with water. I'm trying my best to drink more of it, so I thought, let me get something. Also, I got, of course, my Diet Coke. 2% milk and I couldn't leave without my Jamaican beef patties. I'm gonna tell you guys now if you have not tried these beef patties you're missing out. They are so good. So I bought three boxes of them. That's how much I like them. Also guys I bought some of this Badaya herb seasoning. Now I have the Badaya poultry season and I have used this in like three dishes already and it really really makes a difference in the taste of the meals that I fix these in. I love this stuff. It's really good. So when I saw that they had one that had the herbs, a mixture of the herbs, I was like I gotta get that. Also bought some dental floss, some heavy duty aluminum foil, I got this cheap stuff from the dollar store. Not good, not good. So, got some, got some trash bags, some kitchen trash bags. Now I bought two cans of chickpeas. I am so, again, trying to incorporate beans into my diet or my food, I'm not gonna call it a diet, to my meals. So I bought some chickpeas. I can just stick these in anything like a rice dish or anything. Some body wash. Gotta smell good. <laughs> also bought some um, seasoned diced tomatoes because I'm going to make some spaghetti today. I have some of that sauce left over from when I cooked them shells about a week or so ago. So I figured let me get that sauce out of there and I have some spaghetti up there. So spaghetti today. Also guys I bought two cans of albacore tuna. Now let me tell you guys, I have a love-hate with tuna because for some reason, as simple as it seems to me in my head to fix, I seem to get it wrong. So, But I figured out what I was doing because I fixed some tuna for lunch twice last week for work and I got it right. What I was not doing when I fixed tuna was, I wasn't mashing it all the way down. I had like chunks of tuna in there. And I don't know if you ate a piece of tuna or not. Tuna is dry. You know, once you drain that water out or oil out, tuna is dry. So I smashed it up and smashed it up with my mayonnaise and my seasonings and onions and everything in there. And I'm telling you, I got it right. So I was so happy and proud of myself that I got it right. I said, I'm going to buy some more. I got one onion and one tomato. Now guys, this is my new rice that I discovered and tried out last week and I absolutely love it. And this is the Goya Yellow Rice Arizona Amarillo. This is the Spanish style. I'm telling you, oh my God. I fixed this in my slow cooker. I browned up some chicken thighs and when the rice was almost done, I went ahead and put the chicken thighs with some of the, the grease from the chicken in the slow cooker and let it finish cooking. You talking about something good. And that's why I bought the black beans because I wanna add some black beans into that same dish when I fix it again. But I bought three boxes of these, of these, three boxes of these, 
and I can make two servings with these. I already have a half a back right up in there, but really, really good. I also bought my chicken stock because I don't use water whenever I cook rice, except when I'm boiling bags. I don't put chicken stock in there. <clears throat> but when I'm fixing something like in a slow cooker or in a frying pan, I use chicken stock. Also, and last but not least, I got some saltine crackers to go with that tuna fish because that's what I had last week and it was so good. Now that's my food haul guys. I'm so excited, but I seem to only be eating chicken, but in different ways. I do have some tilapia in the fridge and I make a killer, killer tilapia double decker lunch sandwich that I'm gonna show you guys uh, soon. It's so good and simple. But before I leave you guys today, I wanna share something with you guys that I bought from the dollar store and this has got to be so far the best dollar store or dollar tree purchase I've made. These little bowls right here, these little food storage bowls are amazing. I bought these last weekend and last week I took some curry chicken and one of these for lunch twice last week. And what is so amazing about this cheap dollar store food bowls is that it did not stain. I was amazed. You guys know how difficult it find something that curry, curry, curry gets all in your fingernails and everything when you mixing it and dealing with it. It did not stain. I took a paper towel and wiped it clean after I ate curry out of it. And I was like, whoa, I am loving these. So they at the dollar store, they come four in a pack. If, you, if you're at the Dollar Tree, get you some of these. If you're looking for a di uh, food storage that does not stain, it has not stained yet. I'm gonna try it with some spaghetti because I'm making spaghetti today and I'm gonna take some for lunch. I'm gonna see what happens. If that spaghetti don't stain, these things are everything to me when it comes to food storage. Love them. And the last thing I want to mention to you guys, I know you guys are waiting on my new car tour and it is coming up. Um, I was going to do it over the weekend, but I ended up having to work 12 hour overtime on Saturday. And yesterday, Sunday, I took a drove down to Baltimore to see my mom and because she wasn't feeling well lately. So I decided to go down and see her, spend a few hours with her. I also had time to visit two of my friends for uh, about 40 minutes each. And so it was a good day yesterday. I saw some, you know, family and friends. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching and taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I do appreciate you guys. You know that already. And I'll see you guys the next time.